This game is rated E for everyone. For more information, please go to ESRB.org. Hello everyone, uh, Nate here, aka KV, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon White version 2. What is this guy? He's hunting for treasure. He's a treasure hunter, so he does stuff, and he found something. But the same as I found before, so he's gonna give it to us. We got a red flute. Cool. On the last episode, we began exploring Route 13, just above Vindela Town, on our way to get to Opelucid City, which is where the next gym is located. But of course, it's time for some more battles, because our team needs to really get up to snuff. We've been doing decently, but we gotta be, like, top tier. We gotta be the top percentage of Rattatas. And we're not Rattatas. So that should give you a tip-off to that. Now, Tanrel, uh, luckily, has some moves that are not Water-type. But it's gonna do that. Owie. But luckily it hurt itself. The gold number we're trying to get everyone to right now is 41, and unfortunately, because the Basculin is super fast, we're going to switch back to... Let's switch to Poppy. I'm kind of curious how this is going to go, but we'll see. Aqua Tail, okay. Alright, Poppy, let's see, let's do a side Beam. Nice! Okay, Poppy Speed's really good. That'll be helpful much later on. Alright, Poppy got level 38, so that's good as well. Speed plus 3, defense plus 2, it's such... Wowie, wow, Poppy, holy cow. And Tanrel, then get to the next... Okay, Staryu, we will switch. Um... Monster uh, you can try this out, alright? I have faith in you, but I'm a bit scared as well. Depending on the speed. And if it knows an ice type move, because that could also be a problem. Level 39, Energy Ball. Gyro Ball. Is that. Okay. Okay. Well, it didn't help. Alright. Wow. Nicely done, Monster. Okay, and now we'll do another Energy Ball. Light screen. Okay, that's fine. And uh, there we go. Bye bye, Star You. There, getting experience for everyone. Lost game was nice to take my mind off fishing for a bit. Okay, well, I'm glad I could be a service to you, sir. Let us go back to our bag and get some more healing items out. I'll give the lemonade to Poppy. Perfect. And then we also have some Moo Moo Milk left, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we have a lot of Moo Moo Milk left, never mind. Give that to Tamrel. And we are back in business. Hello there, sir. Check out my Aloma Mola. It took me 100 Pokeballs to catch it. Uh, sir? That seems concerning. Sir. Sir. Jones. May I call you Jones? Alolomola Alolomo 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 is one of the weirdest Pokemon names. It's also a very bizarre design, because those look like hands. But it's fun to say. Alolomola. In Alolan Alolomola. With some cola. I don't know what it just did. Is that going to be more effective? More damage? Ah, a little more damage. Water Pulse, okay. Okay. Oh, oh, what? Ooh, ooh. Oh, the wit. Oh, it was Wish. Okay, that's what it was. I was not paying close attention because when you're doing a lot of episodes back to back, you tend to be stupid. Okay, well, it's gonna keep doing that. Tanrel, love ya. You're doing a good job right now, but let's see if Manchuri can do another miracle. I mean, she is the princess of the fairies. Oh, I don't... What? It, oh, you try to do wish again? Why would you do that? Alright, whatever. Okay, 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 just waste it, I guess. Just keep doing that and wasting it. That's fine. Alright, 
Oh, Lola Lola does have quite a bit of HP as well. Alright, special defense fell. Soak. Monster tra transforming to water type. Okay. Do you know electric type move to then make this worth your while? Okay, well, the wish came true. It's fine. It's fine. It has. It knows that. It knows a lot of those. Well then. Probably should not be wasting it. Monster is uh, HP like uh, P HP PP like this. But if it all works out. It works out. Okay, Monster D, Tanrel, good, good, good. It, it, yes, it also means you were really bad at catching it if you had to use a hundred. Alright, let's get some... Let's see. Uh, berry juice, 20 points. Fresh water's 50. Restores, okay, that's... Mm, that's... that's well, I have three of them. I'll hold off. Oh, full restore is PP of a single selected move. Okay, I'll hold off. We have the max ether. Okay, cool. We have regular ether too. Good, 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 good. Okay. Let's use Moo Milk on. Actually, no. We could just probably give Berry Juice to Enel and uh... we need something else though. Fresh water. Yeah, fresh. Get fresh water to Monstery. Use that. Not to Tora. There we go. Item management. The game. Also. Yep. Good thing I turned it on. Hello? It's right there. Okay. A pearl! Hey, at least we'll have a lot of money. That guy obviously had a lot of money if he used a hundred Pokeballs. So I'm gonna go this way. Hello! Got a blue shard. Also, there's this trainer right here that's like, Hey, buddy, you wanna, you wanna talk to me? Ah, Solrock! This is perfect for Tanro. Let's do a surf, and that should be it! I don't know why I said, I said it like, that should be that, as, as, as opposed to, that should be that. Oh well. Hi. <laughs> How are you? The power of three comes together, so, oh. I wish you didn't do that. Alright, then. Larvesta, Flareon, and the, and the Brava. Okay. Oh, if only Tanrel's on the other side. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Alright, well, Tanrel, surf. We'll get a Nell wet, that's fine. Nell can take it. Uh, do a Confuse Ray onto the Larvesta. And Tora! Strength! If all goes according to plan, the Vibrava should be the only thing left standing after this turn. Okay, maybe not. Okay, we probably use oh Earth Power. Sorry, Anel. Oh, okay, you're fine. Good. Okay, it's confused. String shot. All right, whatever. That's fine. That affected everyone. Oh, it affected well those two. All right, scary face. Whatever. Okay, speed harshly fell. Alright, Tanro. Um, let's not do that again. Let's do, uh, water... F mm, ice Beam, the Vibrava, uh, Power Gem, the Flareon, and do Strength on the Larvesta again. Alright. Oh, Tanro has the highest speed of my team right now? Uh-oh. Alright, everyone got experience. Hooray. Flame Charge! Okay. 
Wait. What? It did it did flame charge. Did it purposely do flame charge to the Flareon to boost it? That's actually kind of unique. I like that. That's cool. Anyways, bye Flareon, because, uh, bye. Okay, well that was scary at first, but now it's fine. So hooray, and Tanrel gets level 40. Attack, okay, everything else evenly, okay. Okay. Alright, beat the Ranger. Yeah, there was some good teamwork there. By, even by yourself there, ma'am. Okay, thank you for the citrus berry. I want that item back there. Your Pokemon has tripled the power. That's the test of its true trainer skill. Yeah, I'm sure it is. I won the item. I won the item. That's a drift limb. I'm not dealing with that thing. It scares me. It abducts children. Max Ether. Okay. Alright. Oh, it's, it's, like, it's like all the way over there. Okay. Probably puts some repels on. Ah, uh, Soul Rock. I will take the Soul Rock, though, because that's easy experience for Tanrel. Waterfall! It's Fire Rock, and that just means it's like, hey, buddy, you're gonna die. Sorry. That's just how it is. Alright, I'm gonna put Repel on now, just so we can do some more exploring here. Without being interrupted all the time. Uh, where are my repels? There we go. Now, I'll probably still get a few wild bells here and there, but. Okay, well, we can't go that way. We can go this way. Okay, so. Please don't start the fight. Please don't start the fight. Okay. Okay, cool. So. In the previous game, there were the there are the Musketeer Pokemon is how they are classified. Uh, Cobalion, Virizion, and Terrakion. And they are usually in set locations in the original black one and white one. Uh, Cobalion was originally in Nostralgian Cave. Now you remember, we actually saw Cobalion quite a while ago back on Route 6. In Black 2 and White 2, there's something going on that has caused them to start essentially roaming. And by I say roaming, I mean you can at least see them on the world map, so that's nice. Uh, in which case, it's easy to go up to them, and I think they'll be easier to catch. Because they do kind of show up in the middle of the, your way, I don't see a reason not to catch them. So we're going to. We're probably not going to be using them. My only like regret is the Terrakion. At the time, when I was playing the original Black 2, the original Black 2, the original Black 2, right, no. When I was playing Black 2 for the first time, a friend of mine at the time, basically, who, never, who hadn't played Pokemon in, like, forever, uh, messaged me, and, she, and they were like, hey, there's this thing, and I was like, okay, wh what is it? And they're like, it's, it was this thing on the map, and it, it was green, and now it's pink! And I'm like, what are you talking about? And it turned out the Verizian that they had run into was shiny. So all of these Pokemon that we see on the overworld here are shiny. Wait, no. no, not, They're not all shiny. Okay. Scratch that. I'm dumb. They had the potential to be shiny, is what I should say. There we go. Because I actually caught my very first shiny Pokemon through Terrakion. Because I just reset in front of it. Obviously, we're not going to do that for a Let's Play, because that's going to be very boring. So, no, it's a that's. But we are going to catch it. Which is also partially why I got so many of the Pokeballs to begin with, because I had a feeling we'd be coming up on them soon. So, let's go to Moomoo Milk. Use that. On Anel. Our best bet probably is Tora, but I'm going to start with Tanrel, just to be safe. And I can't really save the... Oh, that's going to be the problem now, is I would like to save before I get it, just in case. But we'll see how it goes. Kabwa!
They also have unique intros. So, Kobalion is fighting Steel, if I'm not mistaken. Level 45. Okay, I guess Tar would have been better. Alright, we'll go with a Waterfall Assert off. Iron Head. Okay. And I'll be honest, as much as I've been praising all the music in the Unova games, this battle theme's terrible. I'm sorry, it's just a mess. It doesn't make any sense. Like, it's not, it's not, like, bad, but it's, like, not great compared to everything else that we've heard in the game, in both games. Alright, so don't... Don't make it faint. Okay, and I'm gonna switch over to a Nell. Because that way, the Trachea, the Trachea, the Kobolian attacks, so there's chance paralysis, and we can also use a Confuse Ray. And then we're gonna try to catch it. Okay. Fuse Ray. Yeah, like, that part was, it like, speeds up and slows down. It's like, what? what is this music? Alright, we're going to begin with our trying to capture it. So we're going to start with an Ultra Ball and see how that goes. Of course, being a legendary, its chances of capture are much uh, lower. Each. Yeah, case in point. Alright, Confused... Sacred Sword. Okay, that's a special technique it has. Static. Okay, good, good. Now let's try the Ultra Ball one more time. If we don't catch it, we don't catch it, but at least we saw it. Nope, not getting that one either. Okay. Helping Hand, okay. Well, let's not risk confusion at this point. Let's go back to our Pokeball. Let's see. Tire Ball could work. Let's try one Luxury Ball. Seems really dumb, but hey, you never know. I caught Zekrom in a lot. Luxury Ball. Okay, well, uh, you know. Sometimes you win, sometimes you don't. Alright, Pokeballs. Can I keep doing a few more Ultra Balls? Tire Ball will use, like, I think in a turn or two, depending. Nope. Helping Hand, okay. I don't know why it's so obsessive using Helping Hands. So yeah, we are, we'll be looking forward to Verizian and Terrakion as we continue. So it's going to be fun having to fight all those. Alright, Sacred Sword. Good, good job, Anel. You did your best. Alright. Bring out Tora. Alright, and now I'm going to actually attempt one of the timer balls, see how that goes. We have two of them. Has battle lasted long enough? Each? No. It has not. Alright. Pretty dang powerful, that move. Alright, Ultra Ball. Nope. Okay, Tire Ball was better. Sacred Sword again. I have a... I'm curious. It's not necessarily night yet, but will a Dusk Ball technically work? Each? No. Close, though. Okay, good. Good, it's paralyzed. Let's try that again. Nope. Nope. Iron Head, okay. That's the end of Tora, unfortunately. Alright, use next Pokemon. We'll bring Tanril out. If I die to this, I die to this, I don't really care. Alright, so let us try. We'll try the Dust Bolt again. Each. Knee. San. Almost had it. Very nice, though. Very, very nice. Almost had it. 
Alright. Do a slash, Tanrel. This gets HP down just a little bit more. Not like a lot more, but a little bit more. Alright, we're down to our last three. So, let's be careful here. Vivi can intimidate it. Alright, so that should be helpful. Right, back to the bag. Let's use one more Dust Ball. And I'll switch back to the Timer Ball, see if that last one works, and then... I don't know. Yeah. Okay, Timer Ball it is. Yikes. Timer Ball time! Wow! Didn't even like that. No, no way. Alright, let's try another Ultra Ball. We're basically we're basically in this until either it faints or everyone on our team faints or something, you know. Shh <laughs> shh It's special. Each nope. Okay, that par that paralysis is really coming in handy though, so thank you, Anel. So ten so the tension, man. The tension of it all. Sacred sword again, okay. So that there goes Vivi. What type of Oh fight that's fighting, that's why. Alright. Poppy, you're up. We'll go to our bag again, let's try the Ultra Ball again, and we'll switch back to Dust Balls. Dang. Okay, well, that, 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 well, I don't know why it likes using help in hand so much. Right, come on. Nope. Helping hand, okay. Is he gonna start using struggle soon? What the heck? Alright, Dusk Ball next turn. Okay. Sacred Sword. Yeah, fighting type move. All right, nope, not fight. Bag. Uh, may maybe fight. Maybe fight? No, no. Bag. Pokeballs. Dusk Ball. All right, come on. Nope. Retaliate. I didn't do much, but okay. Well. Alright, Monster D. I don't think we're gonna get it with you, but hey. Be pretty impressive if we did. Alright. One last use of the Dusk Ball. Sucks that we're gonna waste all these, but whatever. We have stuff we can get money for. That's what I figured. Alright, Sacred Sword. No, Retaliate. Okay. Okay, um, let's use the Ultra Ball. Each, knee, son, Manchari, you really did it! Holy cow! <laughs> oh my God, I was not expecting to win that. Amazing. It has a body and a heart of steel. It worked with its allies to punish people when they hurt Pokemon. So yeah, very, it's a very, like, noble Pokemon. Not gonna give a nickname, and it deserves being the Legend Box, because it is, in fact, a Legend. Now then, uh, the elephant in the room is, our team needs to heal. Luckily, the next town's right here. We're not going to explore said town yet, because that's going to be for the next episode, but we'll at least go to the Pokemon Center. Unless someone shows up. In which case, let's talk to them, because I can't get out of there. Hey there, Nate. Hee <laughs> hee. I use Fly, so it looks like I beat you here. Thanks for your help on Reversal Mountain. 
If you go straight past Lakinosa Town, you reach Opelucid City. But before you go, there's something I want you to hear. What is it? You'll know soon enough. Hurry now! Um, I want to heal my Pokemon first. Ma'am? Ma'am? Can I go heal my Pokemon? You must be the ones who want to hear the old tale about Lucky Nosu Town. Lucky Nosu uh, Town, as it's called nowadays. It used to be called Lucky Nosu. That's right. Please tell us. All right, my dearies. Please come in. I just want to heal my Pokemon. Behind Lakunosa Town, there's a mighty big hole. Have you heard of the giant chasm? Have you heard of being able to pronounce things correctly, I say to myself? Shh, 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 shh. Ooh, I've heard of that one around. Uh, I've heard that around the giant chasm, there have been brief temperature readings of negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit. What's that in Celsius, future me? Oh, is this a special number that's the exact same in Celsius and Fahrenheit? That would be awesome if it is. What's it in Kelvin? Don't look up Kelvin. Just look up Celsius. That's what Sharon told me anyway. The road is blocked, so we can't get there right now. A long, long time ago, in a galaxy far... Oh, sorry. The giant chasm was created when a big meteorite fell from the sky. A really scary Pokemon was in hidden inside that meteorite. A meteorite. When darkness falls over the land, this Pokemon appears. A frigid wind follows it. It freezes everything around and eats people and Pokemon. That's why everyone was afraid. Pokemon eh, pe people So our ancestors surrounded the town with walls to prevent the Pokemon from getting inside the town. Also, a rule was made forbidding anyone to go outside after dark. And that's the end of the old tale. A fascinating story. Lots of my research records. Everyone, we should be going. Okay, well, I'm gonna heal my Pokemon. Now then. Oh, well, okay. I'm gonna well, heal my Pokemon. It was like, I gotta go heal your Pokemon. You got a cutscene. Okay, I just wanna heal my Pokemon, man. Wasn't that an interesting folktale? The Pokémon's true identity may be unknown, but the power mentioned in the story is incredible. I know! The power to freeze everything around it could even rile the power of the legendary Dragon-type Pokémon! Yes, Bianca. It's almost like Reshiram who scorched the Unova with blazing fire long ago. By the way, Nate, you remember the story of Reshiram? I do! So remember, I told you a little about it in Litmus Town. Reshiman was a legendary dragon-type Pokemon that lends its power to the person it recognizes as a hero who seeks the truth. It has a white body and can send forth ferocious flames. Professor, do you think there's a connection between the Pokemon from the old story and the legendary dragon-type Pokemon? The meteorite. The meteorite? Reshiram was revived from a stone rock called the Light Stone. I s let's suppose a meteorite from the story and this stone are one and the same. Take into account the elements from the same era were found in Dragon's Vile Tower, where Reshiram was, and in the giant chasm, I'm saying it too, that old lady really rubs off on you. It doesn't prove anything, but it could be a piece of a puzzle. Let's not write it off as coincident just yet. If your theories are true, it should really be a strong Pokemon. What kind of reason could there be to only come out at night? Like, if, like, it doesn't, like, the sunlight or something like that. Until we look more deeply, it would be hard to say anything about that. 
Now that I think about it, the name Lachinosa can be derived from uh, Lachinosa's clouds, which are clouds that resemble a net or a fence. That's basically how all towns are named, they're named after clouds. I wonder if the names relate to the part of the story where they built walls to protect the town from the Pokémon. Sorry, I rambled a bit on, didn't I? Nate, could you ask Drayden about this if you get a chance? I'm gonna do a little field work. Bianca, help out, okay? Sure thing! Oh, just so you know, Opelucid City's Mayor Drayden wrestles with his Pokémon and toughen them up! Professor Juniper, wait up! I'm the mayor of the city. You see this dragon? I'm gonna wrestle it. Alright, well we got some plot in addition to also catching Cobalion. So, awesome. But that is where we end the episode off for today. We'll begin our proper exploration of Lakinoso Town next time. So, if you like this video, please consider hitting that like button below. If you want to see content from me, please consider subscribing. Don't have to, you don't want to, but always appreciate it if you do. Devil machines, yes! Oh, bind these, bind these, next time. If you'd like to see as far as the game goes, Pokemon White Version 2 and Black Version 2 are available on Nintendo DS Family Systems. Came out a bit late in the series' life, in the, in the DS's lifespan, but I highly recommend it because the you know games are just super awesome. Most importantly, though, please have a wonderfully great day, and I will see you all on the next one. Until then, ciao.